Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I'm back with a DVD review. A uh, film that was on the other night, gave it a record, and it's called The Fourth Kind. Now, The Fourth Kind is a bit of a strange kind of film. Uh, they say in the film that it's based on a true story, although doing a bit of research about it, and it says it's called a mockumentary. And that means that it's called a true story, but it's not actually a true story. However, it's very well done. Uh, as you're watching the film, they say it's a true story. They put in all, like, CCTV almost. So um, there's an incident with a man keeping his wife hostage. And they show footage that the police have recorded. And they've put it half on the screen with what the film has been made. So CCTV acting footage. And it's pretty clever. I mean... Reading up on it now, it says it's a, that it's a mockumentary, so it's a piss take almost of a true story. Uh, but while you're watching the film, you don't really understand, and uh, you think it's true, really. Because all you see is the CCTV footage and then the acting. And it's, it's, they tie them in, they put them both together and they screen them together, and it's, it's a very well done film, really. It's got Melia Jovovich. If I've said that right, obviously she's from all the Resident Evil films. She's done really good on them. And uh, she plays Abby Tyler, who is a psychiatrist. And she treats people who believe they've been abducted. And each person has a connection. And these people are connected by an owl. She puts them under hypnosis and uh, they say that an owl comes in, they see the owl, but it's not an owl. And then things come in and they abduct them and they put a spike in the back of their arm. and They're all connected and all the stories are the same really. Well the first person that she puts under hypnosis, uh, you see the CCTV footage from the police camera. And this person in the film kills his wife and his two kids and then he kills himself. You don't quite know why he does it until the end, really. And uh, as the film goes on, it gets more raveled and you more understand of why he did it. And uh, there are several people who get hypnotised. One guy gets hypnotised uh, by Milia Jovovich, her character Abby. And yeah, she uh, she hypnotises this guy, Abby Tyler, and she hypnotises him. And uh, things go a bit wrong, and he wants to leave the psychiatrist session, really. He wants to leave. And she gets a phone call late at night, and that she's got to go out and see him. And this guy's at home, and he's in bed. And uh, she hypnotises him to find out why he's acting the way he is. And she wants to get more in-depth about it. And once again they do the CCTV bit, so they've recorded what actually happened and then they've put the acting side by side. And this guy, he um, opens his mouth really wide and he starts making funny noises and he starts to rise up. And this, this on CCTV on the camera footage, the, the guy's rising up and he's mumbling a load of stuff and you can't understand it. And uh, next thing you know he falls to the bed and he's neck's been broken and he, he can't he can't move from the neck down and he can only talk and his vertebrae's been smashed and decimated yeah it's it's a bit strange all by getting hypnotized and the guy was possessed in some way to give a message to Abby Tyler Abby. yeah it's you don't know what's going on really I mean everyone seems to be abducted and then Abby herself she tries to get to the bottom of everything because her daughter gets kidnapped. She's under house arrest after this guy's neck's been broken and his vertebrae's been smashed. And she decides to put herself under hypnosis, really. So, house arrest. This thing comes over because there's a police car outside and house arrest, she can't go anywhere. And the guy, the police guy, is watching it and uh, CCTV on the dash cam. And this thing comes over the house and you can't really see it because every time there's a camera that gets distorted every time something appears or they get possessed and the camera gets distorted but the police guy on the cctv and real life footage he uh 
He says that you can see one of the kids being taken out of the window and stuff like this. So it's a bit like there's an alien light and it's taken a child out of the window. And it's uh, another incident. There's a camera, there's footage, real life footage you call it, but you can't see it because it gets blurred and distorted. But you see what you think is an alien spacecraft taking a child. So after that incident, Abby Tyler herself gets hypnotised and she tries to find out what is going on and why they took a daughter. And one of the words that gets translated after, while she's being possessed is this I am God. And it says over and over again, I am God, Abby Tyler, blah, 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 and it goes on. Not everything's translatable, but it gets, uh, gets one interesting line that it says, I am God. So... Uh, Bit of a strange one, all through the film you think that it's aliens that are taking uh, people's bodies and they're abducting them and snapping their necks and making them kill the wives and the kids and then they're taking Abby's child but while she's under possession and being hypnotised she's floating up, she's bending her back in all sorts of positions and her mouth's wide open, she's screaming a load of stuff, the camera's getting distorted. And uh, yeah, it says, Abby Tyler, I am God. So that's a bit of a twist and a turn throughout the film. You think it's aliens, and it says, I am God. But at the end of the film, it's it says that it's a true story and that certain people in the credits didn't want to comment. And um, Abby Tyler's now in a bedridden in uh, the east coast of America but it's all set in a small town in Alaska called Nome critics have slammed it really they said that it's not a very good film but it's it's more interesting it's uh, quite a strange synapse of a film you think it's alien abduction and then at the end it says that it's God who's taking people and uh, your daughter is mine and then it's making him snap the next just to pass a message on to Abby Tyler it's a bit of a strange film it's an okay to watch you get a bit confused about it you think it's abduction and aliens and all that but it's not so if you want to watch a strange film that you think's about alien abduction then the fourth kind is for you um, if if you're a really big fan of Milia Jovovich from the Resident Evil films then you know by all means get it uh, I've watched it a couple of times the film and each time I forget and it it does get a bit confusing. Uh, they say it's based on a true story but then they've done a bit of research about it and it's called a mock mockumentary. So it's not really a true story, it's they've taken the piss, it's like the Blair Witch almost. They said that was a true story and that was a documentary and they mocked it all together so. The fourth guide, Alien Abduction kind of bit of a strange film uh, if you're a fan of Milly Jovic then definitely watch it um, if you like the whole sort of alien abduction theories then yeah you might enjoy watching it but yeah don't go in there thinking that it's going to be a great alien abduction film because there's the odd twist and turn it's a bit confusing but yeah that's uh, my review on the fourth kind hope you enjoy it thanks for watching